Okay, so this is uh, part three of the uh, build series. This is going to be the flight demo of the Puda Chameleon frame. This is the clone frame of the Chameleon. And um, I'm going to be flying with the GoPro, so you're going to see some GoPro footage in this flight. And we'll see how things go. I got, you know, obviously you got the Emax 2306 motors on here, the new Race Spec 2. So this thing ought to be a beast, and so we'll see how this thing flying. Uh, I'm going to be flying with a 4S 1500 milliamp hour LiPo. Pretty good lipo, I think it's a GNV, I think it's like a 80, 160C lipo, so should be a pretty good flight. I can tell that it's a little loose on the roll axis. And I think because of the extra weight of the GoPro, I need to increase the rates on the roll axis as well. Pitch axis seems okay. Oh, these Emax motors have a lot of power. Even carrying the extra weight of the GoPro. This is a much heavier quad. Wow. And they scream. So even though the pit tune is a little loose on the roll axles, I'm adjusting my flying to that fact. This requires a little bit more thought in your flying. Even on these default pits, it's not too bad. But I can uh, adjust my flying to this tune, and you can see that it's tracking very nicely. Not a lot of prop wash, surprisingly. So I'm not uh, sure what, what kind of uh, current I'm drawing here, because I didn't set up a current meter. Although this board does have a current meter, I probably should do that in a in a later video. I'm just going to be watching my flight timer and my battery voltage. These uh, 2306 motors are going to be drawing a lot of power. So you can see I'm already down to 14.1 at about two and a half minutes of flight. So you can tell that these motors are drawing a lot more power than uh, the 2206 motors from the Hawk 5. So I can understand uh, why people like this as a freestyle rig. It's very, it does seem very balanced, this frame, with sort of like the low profile of the battery mounting area. So I guess that balances the CG a little better. It does seem pretty, pretty easy to fly. I don't feel like I'm being dragged one way or the other. I feel like my, my inputs are telling, are making the quad go where I want it to. And I just dropped below 14 volts there. So I think I'm gonna call it a day here at four minutes. Probably have plenty more videos on this particular quad. Uh, probably gonna switch out the motor to something else because I think that this 2306 motor might be better suited for maybe a racing setup. 